Hello, malunggan niyo ko? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, for, for the last part of our seminar, we will be discussing the free ed tech tools for home-based learning. So, I know some of you could identify this, ano naman, diba? this ed tech tools naman, kasi I know, di naman mo mga uh, students nga naala sa balay, I know you are exposed to this different ed tech tools. So let's start with, for LMS, ito yung mga free. We have the Google Classroom and the famous Edmodo. So basically, last, ano, sino yung nakapag-summer class? Si, si Juan, si Sadio. Diba Sadio? You are all very well versed with Google Classroom. Tama man? And we have the Edmodo. The, alam ko, matagal na kayong gumagamit ng Edmodo. Pero ako, hindi ko pa alam paano gamitin yung Edmodo na yan. Next, we have for music video. Para madali na tayo makapag-download. We have the KeepVid, WatchNoLearn.org. And we have the TED-Ed. Um, as of now, TED-Ed is a very good ano, resource of ano, mga video pesos. For discussion purposes, the Ghani Sadari. Next is for visual presentation. Ito siya. If there, was a, if there will be a time na magpapagawa ko ng presentation, hindi, hindi na ako dawa ito ng ano, PowerPoint. Please make sure to learn how to to make a uh, good presentation using Animoto. Canva. Canva is very good. And we have the Prezi. I know some of you, ano naman kayo? You are already familiar with Prezi naman. Next, for assessments, we have quizzes. Nakapag-quizzes na ba kayo? Sa ano? Our mom. Ha? Uh, na try ko na ang ano ma'am kahot quizzes kahot eh, quizzes maganda din yan siya eh uya pala besides kahot and ano and quizzes meron pa tayong ano yung mentimeter di ba nakapag mentimeter na ba kayo yes ma'am so next time we would be using the mentimeter mag mentimeter yes. tayo next Next is for collaboration, we had the Padlet, Slack, o lang kamatayang Google, Google Drive. Pwede tayong magamit nyan. Slack is maganda ang Slack actually. Next for skills development, meron tayong Desmos, Book Creator, Duolingo, and Visual Anatomy. And moving forward, please always remember that you should not be afraid. Next, you should always seek help when needed. Wag po tayong mahiya. Next, is always review the class objective. And be creative. And manage well. Mahirap kasi na pag hindi natin na ma-manage lahat, tayo rin ang ano, kitara po ang mabugatan sa ulitin. So, please make sure that you manage everything well. So, what, le pa uh, what to do? How to do online learning during this time of pandemic? Number one, you experiment with your learning setup. Maghanap kayo ng ano? Anong hanapin nyo? Yung iba nga, I know some of you have already ordered yung mga mini table. But please make sure na gusto ninyo yung mini table na yun, ha? Na you could adapt. Yung iba naman, gumawa nila ng parang office-office. Or yung iba, gumawa rin ng sarili nilang workspace. May room sila or part ng room nila, may workspace. Next is create school and home boundaries. Huwag kayong mag, uh, mag online class. Para bang 
pag pumasok ako dito na part ng bahay or parang pag umupo ako dito, alam ko this is for school activities and this one is for home activities. Next, ito yung pinaka ano. You should always be prepared for online lectures. Like, dapat ahead of time, nakapag online na kayo or lahat ng kailangan nyo, na-prepare nyo, na may load na kayo, yung headset nyo, okay, para sa akin, dapat naka-charge na yung laptop nyo and cell phones. Number four, create accountability to yourself. Make sure that you would always check yourself. Hindi porket online class sa papetiks-petiks lang kayo. Kasi based on the uh, sentiments of the students for this one week, kabalo ba mo ano yung hamba nila, Perme? Ma'am, Tani, nag-face to face na lang. Mas kapoy ang online class. Damo-damo ang workloads. May problema ka pa kung maka-online ka or dili. Next is Number five, be visible in online classroom. Yes, may mga times na pwede lang nga didi ka naka-online. Pwede lang after online ka lang mag-answer. But make sure that you, kung gaano ka ka-participative for classroom, galon ka rin ka-participative sa online. Next. Number six, communicate effectively and clearly. Hindi porket online siya, is wala na siyang tamang communication. Yes, we should be like respectful pa rin. Maayos pa rin nakipag-usap. Hindi yung akala mo nag-video call ka lang sa kaibigan mo. O ha? Next is work on your health. Kumain po tayo na maayos. Kasi hindi pwede na ano, na in times of pandemic, hindi tayo healthy. Next is set clear responsibilities. Alam mo, yung, alam mo yung gagawin mo, alam mo yung ginagawa mo, and you are responsible with your education. Number nine, syempre, talk with your classmates. Walang kamatayan chismis. No, it is, just a talk. it is not just talking. It also um, intellectual talking. Hindi, hindi kayo nag-online ka mo, nag-chismis ka mo. You talk about the lesson, my insight. And number 10, take time to socialize. Kasi kailangan din natin yan. Because human beings are social beings. Social ha, hindi social. We need to be social, hindi social. So, please always be reminded that learning begins at home. We take it from here, leading the digital home learning segment. Make sure that na, na lagay na yan sa isip nyo na umpisa na ito, wala na ni sa pagduha-duha. This is the digital age. We need to accept it. So, Please, tandaan ito. Technology won't replace teachers, but teachers who use technology will probably replace teachers who, ano yung nakalagay? Do not. Oh, tandaan natin yan, mga best. So, karang mga modular dara, sige, birahin nyo ka modular. And, Thank you and mabuhay. Yay! <laughs> sa mga modular na. Thank you, ma'am. Sa mga modular na. Modular na.